every time I would get in a car and I absolutely fall in love with it. Oh, it's the last year we're making it. We're going to make it into an EV. Oh, my God. Please stop it. We're in the 2023 Mercedes-Benz E450 Cabriolet. Maybe. Cabri slow A. It's not in a big rush. They're not setting world records with this drop top. I'm not a convertible guy. I am. Like, and I like this one. Yeah. It beeps a lot, but yeah. you can't get away from that anymore. So this is the turbo six cylinder. Yes. What's the power numbers? Three and some change. Yep. Inline six, three liter, uh -huh. 362 horsepower, 369 pound feet of torque, nine speed automatic with a mild hybrid system attached to it, which basically means the AC keeps working when you stop at a stoplight. Yep, and. Oh, that turbo sounds good. It's <laughs> plenty fun, and we're gonna go ahead to try and fight the wind. We can turn this up if we want. It's gonna ruin our camera angle, but just to show you, you do have an option to get that wind up and off yeah. of you, but this is my kind of weather. The power is strong, but smooth. It's not jarring, it's fast, it's not herky-jerky. This is a touring car. Yeah. It is a sporty luxury car, not a luxury-fied sports car. Yeah, this we... is a package meant to be a Grand Tour. Yeah, we are in the perfect location for this vehicle. We are on a golf course in one of the nicest neighborhoods in town. This fits right in. This is where you would want to see this. You, you're going to have a couple golf bags back in the back, put the top down, and just enjoy this car. And it's a, a car that I enjoy as someone that's a... I like fast cars. I like loud cars. I like big trucks. I like to jump stuff. I like to tear up stuff. <laughs> I'm not the target audience. And I like it. Yeah. It's that well put together. Everything makes sense. The fit and finish on the inside, the textures, the colors, the touch points on the inside, the way it's designed, the way there's a lack of high gloss black, except for a handful of locations, yeah. uh, the size, the shape, the, the pricing, yeah. the proportions. It's, it's the best Grand Tourer I've yeah. been in. I've been in several grand tours that are very clearly a sports car they've done some luxury stuff too and i've been in some grand tours that are very clearly a lipstick on a pig situation <laughs> this feels like a ground up they knew what they were getting into when they entered the design and engineering process this is the mercedes-benz that makes you think of rodeo drive yeah. hollywood boulevard 80s and 90s drop top mercedes-benz products and it really shines. They've been doing these cars a long time. So good. Yes. So good. So this time last year, I was in the Audi competition to this in the S5 Cabrio. And I like this better. The, just the welcoming environment, all the ash wood up here. Uh, and then, like you said, the proportions of this thing, they're just spot on. We've driven the S-Class. Not a fan because it has the jack diddly for driving dynamics that was a boat that was a yacht a land yacht yeah. this this is a speedboat this yes this does not feel like a shrunken s-class this is its own vehicle Corey, would you like to walk us through some of the options that are on this mercedes so this is the entry to the e-class cabrio this is the 450 rear wheel drive which is I think it's how we would prefer it, especially here in Texas. It's got plenty of grip that'll let you scoot but not slide. I like the dynamics yeah. of it a lot. You can option an all-wheel drive 4Matic. We don't have it. I like this better. So we're starting at 76.9. This one out the door, 83.545. And we've got something like $550 soft closed doors, which okay. you've already said you wouldn't do. Uh, we've got the AMG line wheels, 14 fourteen hundred dollars there uh, and then we've got the amg line package twenty five hundred dollars which is really more I, i'd think the uh, front clip the rear clip that steering wheel and uh, different wheels on if top it of. is responsible for the front fascia of this car i'd do it yeah because that keeps it from looking too soft now Corey, you know what's about to happen yeah <laughs> decent amount of power rear wheel drive 
Michelin Pilot Sport 3s. Yeah, so they're grabby. They're grippy. I hate to gush on a car, especially when it's priced like this, but for the market they're trying to hit, yeah. I don't think it's outrageous. It's still a gas engine. This isn't a stupid EQ product. <laughs> I haven't driven any of those EQs that I like that don't feel like a Benz, but I'm not an electric guy yeah. either. So this car to me, again, we're on a golf course. It feels very much like something you would put the top down and exclusively drive with the top down. Though uh, we've been joking since we've had this one. This is a little bit of a one of one build. Very unique packaging on this one. Black paint. Yeah. Tan interior. Love it. Navy top. Questionable. <laughs> yeah. Not quite sure <laughs> how this one got shipped out the door. Uh, if somebody ordered this and it just ended up on the, the lot at our friends of Mercedes Benz of Tyler, but uh, one it, of it one. It could have been very, white, very cream, bespoke. black. They could have got away with burgundy on the top. Yeah. Blue, although I like the color, yeah. doesn't quite, a matter of fact, the guys at Mercedes-Benz of Tyler, there's such Mercedes-Benz connoisseurs that they, whenever we asked for this, they specifically said it's not an ideal spec yeah. because of the top. And I'm like, I don't care. I just want, yeah. I just want to drive it. I, I, I'm wondering who would buy this. There you go. Who would buy this and never put the top up? This is very much a third, fourth vehicle uh, that you take out when the conditions are right. Or a retirement car. Yeah. Kids are gone. I, this is a car for me. Yeah. I'm not worried about the kids. Yeah. I don't even care if there's seats back there. That's for, that's for the goodies. That's for the stuff. I, I am surprised how much room is back there. I'm pretty sure you're going to make me crawl back there at some point. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, which, in a vehicle like this, getting it back into the back seat with the top down, you walk in there standing upright <laughs> and sit down. <laughs> but... Uh, you're you're going to stuff me back there with the top up, I'm sure. Yeah, you don't buy this for the back seats. You don't buy this for the soft closed doors. Although, you know, I guess the buyer is nice. But I am loving the turbo sounds that we're getting from that straight six. And this is a lifestyle vehicle. Yeah. You're in a certain spot of a certain income, probably of a certain age group. Yeah, yeah. And this fits your lifestyle. And if you are in that target market that they designed this for, it's an incredible option, especially if you're talking about long haul, you want a retirement car, you want a golf car, you want something that you get in and you look forward to the drive you're about to have, that's this car. Yeah. All Send right, Corey, it. one more pull. It drives so good. Why do I like it this much? <laughs> Why do I like it this much? This is the sleeper. Like it, it's not one that either of us expected, but this is the one that shouldn't go away. But is. But is. Every time we get in a car and I absolutely fall in love with it. Oh, it's the last year we're making it. We're gonna make it into an EV. Oh my God. Please stop it. <laughs>